Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we will talk about creating a new Zeta template that is going to work on most popular platforms. For example, in Outlook, Gmail, or even as an HTML template. Let me open my Word. I created this template in an old video. If you want to know how you can check my Outlook playlist, you will find the video there. So I created this template in Word. Word has an HTML engine in the background and this HTML engine is compatible with most email clients. So we can use this template in Gmail. We can use this template in Outlook, the new Outlook and the old Outlook. We can use it as an HTML and we can even start a mass mailing template from Word directly. Word is kind of the ultimate solution for all news letters. But please be careful because I'm using the web layout in Word. And switching to the print layout is gonna make it look weird. So please make sure to use the web layout in creating the template. Now let's see how we can use the template in the new Outlook. I have this empty window from the new Outlook and what i need to do i need to go back to my word document and just control a select everything and then control c to copy and then go back to the window in the new outlook and just paste now we have here the template but it it's not exactly the template that we just copied. So we need now to go here to the bottom left corner of the screen and to choose Keep Source Formatting. And now it's exactly the template that we took from Word. And that's it about using it in the new Outlook. Just copy paste from Word to the new Outlook or to a new email in the new Outlook. Now let's go to the classic Outlook. I have also an empty window in the classic Outlook. We can use the right mouse click and then go to keep source formatting. And now it's almost the same like what we copied. But you see here we have kind of different formatting for links. When we create navigation, we usually use bookmarks. And now Outlook transferred these bookmarks to smart links. And smart links are very problematic in Outlook. If you want to know how to change the style of these links, you can check my other video about links in Outlook. And that's it. It's still the same. Just copy paste. Now let's move to Gmail. I have also here an empty email in my Gmail account and we can just do the same. Paste and as you see, everything is here inside the template. We need just to resize the banner to make sure that it's working and that's it. It's the same template. Now you see here the editing options are very limited and creating the template in Word gave us a lot of options in styling and making complex structure in the newsletter. And that's why it's better to work just with Word. And now let's move to the HTML template. I'm back in Word and we can go now to File and do Save As. And then here from the drop down, choose HTML, web page HTML. And then we can just save. Please note that if the autosave is active, it's not going to save. So you need to turn off autosave and then use the option save as HTML. Now we have here inside the folder this template HTML, which is the one we just saved. And now we need a code editor to see if it's working or if it's not. 
I have Visual Studio Code. Let me open it. And so as you see, we have here Visual Studio Code and we can open the template with live server. And this is the template. And why we use live server? Live server is going to help us in um, updating or in editing the template because we can see the change live. And you can download it from the extensions. Here, as you see, we have here live server. This one, you can search it here and install it. This green code is kind of Microsoft code. We don't need it. We can just delete it and it's not going to affect the template. And then we have here a lot of code and classes, styling. If you're familiar with CSS, you would know what all these lines mean. But unfortunately, in Email templates, the styles in the head do not work, so we need always to use inline style. And if we go to the bottom, we will see a lot of inline style. As you can see here, we have class, but we have still margin, we have font. If you want to use this template as an HTML email template, you need to clean up the template because there is a lot of code here related to Microsoft environment. That's all for today. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe.